Okay, first thing you gotta do, make a washer box. They say, some of them, is to find a piece of wood, cut 14 inch, 14 inch squares, okay? Always wear your safety glasses when you're using any kind of Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is measure this up and subtract, this is 14 inches, subtract the 2x4 width. Pick up some old 2x4s. I got some old 2x4s. And I'm going to cut 8 pieces that are 12 and a half long. Oh, that's a small box. Okay, that's supposed to be use them that size. I'm going to cut 12 and a half. I'm going to cut 12. Eight pieces, 12 and a half. All right. Last one. Okay. Then, that was quick, wasn't it? Eight pieces. They go like this. Like this. Like this. And like this. And like this. And then, well, them are small boxes. I'm going to nail them together. And then, I'll put nails. In the end, one end, and all of them. They're gonna go together like this. Dude. Okay, I ruined the end of my video. And I didn't get to put everything on. So I'm done with them. Except I don't have any sand in them. There's the cup I made. It's just a round 16 gauge piece of metal. I rolled it up. So it's four inches in diameter and the same height as this, three inches. And then I welded a plate on the bottom so that I could put some screws in it to stick to the bottom. I nailed the board on the bottom, nailed it with a couple nails and it didn't hold good because they were too sharp. So I just put screws in, inch and a half screws all the way around it. And I took an old can of spray paint that I had and I spray painted it to get it some kind of a some kind of a primer on it because it soaks paint so much. Now I'll probably paint them yellow or white. Repaint it after this gets all dry. So uh, this is what they look like when they're finished. And uh, I'll put about put about an inch of sand in it. I put sand in it. If you want, you can caulk the inside. That helps from dumping it and the sand coming through here if there's any cracks. If there's a little few holes, then the sand comes out. But you don't lose much and you're always throwing it out so you always carry a bucket of sand with you. I got plenty of that stuff. So, uh, anyway, that's 20, 22 and a half feet between the two is what you do, I think. There's a tournament going on and the guys are playing and that's what they, this is what they're playing with. So that's why I made up this set. So anyhow, we'll use them, we'll wear them out, and then we'll uh, make new ones. They're all, my old ones, my old ones got the one pound coffee can size. They're 18 inches square and they're pretty beat up pretty bad so uh, and the bottoms are starting to rot out because i never move them they stay there i only move them when i cut the lawn or sometimes in the winter i move them so anyway uh they stay there 
and they'll probably pull them aside and throw these down on the same spot and start practicing. Okay, that ought to do it.